Welcome everyone, this is Plugin Fox, and today we're back with another plugin called Blue Map. Blue Map is kind of like Dynamap in a sense, where it's a live view map, but it is 3D and it looks a lot cooler than um, pretty much Dynamap does. So you can get a lot higher resolution and rendering and all that stuff with Blue Map. So let's get started. So just click on the download button, it will download. I already have it downloaded, and then just We'll jump right over to the server here really quick. All right, we're over in the server now. Let's go to plugins and let's go to downloads and drag and drop blue map in there. And let's restart the server. So if you guys don't know, um, I do have a plugin server that is meant to help you guys learn and grow in plugins and also try and like show off your servers and figure out what you want to do with Minecraft uh, servers and all that stuff. So if you would like to join the Discord, it is in the uh, description below. Otherwise, let's jump right in. So it looks like it is finishing right now. So let's go over here, refresh the page, and then we have blue map. So you can put resource packs in. Um, so if you have a certain resource pack, you can have it aimed toward the plugin itself and it will actually render it. So let's go to plugin config. So let's copy and paste this into a notepad really quick. So what you can do is there are certain types of so this is default live update, uh, skin download, so players will have their skins when they load. You can choose what game mode they're in. They can actually be in survival, creative, spectator, or adventure in this mode. So you can pretty much do anything you want. You can do hide invisibility, so it will hide every player that's in invisibility, hide sneaking players. Um, so. It will not pause rendering, so you can pretty much have it so it pauses rendering when players, there's too many players on the server, and yeah. So let's go over to the render config, because this one's a little bit more hefty than the last one is. So it will render the end, the nether and the main world which if we scroll up this will be the main world one uh you can change the colors sky colors all that stuff um you can pretty much change whatever you want about it um i'll just kind of scroll through this and you can kind of look at it but it it's pretty straightforward you can change just a couple things on each of them so let's go to uh, the web config so this one will be nice if you have multiple servers so right here you can see you can have the IP address of the server and then the port so remember this port right here 8100 because that will be the port that will get you in um, you also have a max connection count, so this will only allow 100 people to connect. You can change that if you want. So if you have a bigger server, they can connect uh, differently or have more players or any of that stuff. Um, but let's get one last thing done. And then let's go to config. So this will accept downloading. You will need to turn this to true if you would like this to work. Just to let you know. Um, otherwise, everything else, so it will default as blue map. Um, data is blue map. Pretty much everything else you don't really need to change too much of. So yeah, let me change mine to true here. And then we will get right into the map itself. So give me one second. All right, we're now in the game. So as you can see, pretty much looks basic. So if we do slash blue map, it will say that the renderings are in 
progress, it's updating the world. Progress is 4.5. And then ETA is about 7 minutes and 43 seconds. So now if we go to the web browser and type in the IP address. I will have that kind of blanked out, but you can see now that it's rendering the world in and you can see how much more clarity it is than the old map was with Dynamap. Um, you can also mark places on the map. You can see where players are, so I can teleport to each player. I can go to the end, I can go to the nether, so as you can see, some of the nether's been messed with so I can see it a little bit better. You can see it from a top-down view. You can also see it from spectator. So if I were to fly around, you can actually see it from this. And if you hold shift or space, you can go up and down. And then if you would like, you can see the world at night and then dur during the day as well. So you can change the day and night. You can also zoom out and then you can see like north, south and all that stuff. So this is a fairly neat map that you can do. It's a very, very... It'll take a lot of space up on your server just because of how detailed it is. But if you do have kind of a smaller server and want to run something like this, this would be a great map for you to run. As I said, here's something like um, the face down view that you would pretty much see in Dynamap. But then you can go 3D view and there's everything else. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. Otherwise, actually, here, one other thing. So you can change settings. Um, you can see the resolution of it. The resolution will determine of your browser, so you can go higher or whatever. You can do dark mode, light mode, you can change the language, debug it, flat free flight, so you can go around in pretty much spectator mode and see everything. So if I had like a house built, you'd be able to see it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.